This lens is not a lens. It has no glass elements and no focusing system, but it can still be called a lens because it focuses light on your sensor. It's the world's first pinhole lens with six different aperture sizes and variable focal length. And the marketing team is trying very hard to sell it as a lens for hipsters and young creatives. According to the Kickstarter campaign, the lens recreates the look of old photos with your digital camera. In the past, I tested some cheap pinhole lenses with some disappointing results. With a final retail price of $430, this weird lens needs to deliver some amazing images and really make a big difference with other pinhole lenses. The manufacturers of the Pinhole Pro Max sent me a sample to test out. Handheld pinhole photography needs a lot of light, so shooting on a sunny day is a must. The first striking feature of pinhole photography is the lack of bokeh. Everything is in focus, as the aperture value is very small. Muted colors and a general lack of sharpness is also very visible. But for me, the most problematic side of pinhole photography is that you can't avoid dirt on your final image. It is so impossible to avoid that even on the official footage from the Kickstarter campaign, you can see some dirt. The zoom or focal selector on the lens works great, but it's very visible that you can forget about using the widest angle of view on a full-frame camera. Even if on the official website, they say it will cover full-frame on the widest length. Anyway, it's not even clear if it's supposed to be a full frame or an APS-C lens. The more you close the tiny aperture, the sharper your image will get, but it will also make it darker, injecting a lot of grain because of the high ISO. So what do you do when you have a very grainy footage? Just turn it black and white and it will look like a vintage film. Maybe. So let's test out all the aperture. These two aperture look the sharpest, but they are also the smallest on the lens, making them very hard to use for video or without a tripod for long exposure. For fun, here's a little comparison indoors on a rainy day with the exact same lighting, with the Pinhole Pro Max and with an actual 50mm f1.4 lens. I can't really say I enjoyed using this lens. For sure, it's the most advanced pinhole lens on the market, but it's still extremely expensive for a metal tube with some holes in it. When you realize that the Fujian lens is a real lens with glass and it only costs $25, asking for $400 and more 
for this is really too much and I hope they will adjust the price to be under $60 or less.